In the modern gaming landscape, the terms remake and remaster often evoke different expectations. A remake is typically seen as a reimagining, a complete overhaul of a classic game, while a remaster implies a polish of the original, enhancing visuals and mechanics without altering the core experience. With Metal Gear Solid Delta on the horizon, many fans and industry observers anticipated a radical transformation akin to a recent remakes such as Resident Evil 2 or Final Fantasy VII Remake. However, based on its showcase at the 2024 Tokyo Game Show, it's becoming clear that Metal Gear Solid Delta leans more towards being a high fidelity remaster than a complete reimagining. And I think that's perfectly fine. To understand why this is the case, we'll have to first to establish the differences between the two. Now, a remake typically involves rebuilding a game from the ground up, right? Often altering gameplay systems, narrative structures, or both to fit modern gaming sensibilities. Meanwhile, a remaster retains the original's gameplay and a design, focusing on a visual improvements, performance upgrades, and occasionally tweaks to a quality of life features. Uh, judging by the gameplay and features from the showcase at the TGS, Metal Gear Solid Delta doesn't deviate much from the blueprint of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. The game's mechanics, pacing, and overall design remain largely intact. While there are improvements such as the smooth animations, a revamped HUD, and the ability to pause cutscenes. None of these changes fundamentally alter the way the game is played. Instead, Delta seems to refine and polish what's already there. And for a game as revered as Snake Eater, this respectful approach is not only welcome, but I believe maybe even necessary. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater is widely considered one of the greatest video games ever made, and a very good reason. Hideo Kojima's 2004 masterpiece is a perfect balance of intricate gameplay systems, rich narrative, and innovative mechanics. The game's Cold War setting, combined with its revival and camouflage systems, made for an experience that felt tense, immersive, and rewarding. Its balance of stealth, action, and narrative depth set a standard in gaming that a few titles have managed to match. When a game has such a legendary status, there's a valid argument to be made that changing too much risks tampering with its magic. The very elements that made Snake Eater great, deliberate pacing, the strategic use of the camouflage, and the sense of the vulnerability in the wilderness, a tightly interwoven with its mechanics. By wearing too far away from these systems, a remake could lose the very soul of what made the original work so well. Metal Gear Solid Delta seems to recognize this. Instead of completely reinventing the game, it aims to update and enhance the existing framework, maintaining the careful balance that fans loved. Snake's updated animations and improved camera system and a modernized HUD all serves to enhance the experience without fundamentally altering it. These tweaks feel like a natural evolution rather than a radical departure. One of the most apparent updates shown in the TGS demo was the switch to an over-to-shoulder camera, bringing Metal Gear Solid Delta closer to a third-person perspective that modern players are accustomed to. This is a change that streamlined the experience, particularly during the combat and aiming, without swifting the tone or pacing of the game. The new third-person shooter perspective offers more control during the action sequences while preserving the tactical, slower pace that defines Snake Eater's stealth gameplay. The enhanced animation system further strengthens this notion of refinement over the reinvention. Snake's movements are now more fluid, allowing him to transition seamlessly between crouching and standing, and the animations for handling weapons and items have been updated to feel more natural. Yet there are subtle changes, polishing the experience rather than transforming it. The updated HUD is another example of how Delta seeks to modernize without overhauling. Health and stamina bars, along with the camo index, have been moved to the bottom center of the screen, offering a cleaner, less intrusive visual presentation. This shift not only makes the game more visually accessible, but also aligns it with the contemporary HUD design principles, where minimalism and unobtrusiveness are key. 
Again, it's a small tweak, but one that feels deliberate and respectful of the original's intent. Perhaps one of the most significant improvements is the ability to pause and skip cutscenes, a quality of life feature that was solely missing in the original game. While Snake Eater's cutscenes are beloved for their narrative depth and cinematic flair, the ability to manage them more freely will be appreciated by both veterans and newcomers alike. It's an update that modernized the experience without undermining the importance of Kojima's storytelling. It's easy to see why some fans might have hoped for a more radical transformation. Games like Final Fantasy VII Remake have set the precedent for remakes that do more than just update graphics. They reinvent entire gameplay system and narratives, offering new experiences built on the foundations of the original. In contrast, Metal Gear Solid Delta appears to thread more cautiously, offering updates that improve the player's experience without fundamentally altering the core of the game. For a game like Snake Eater, this caution is warranted. Nostalgia is a powerful force, and for many fans, the original Snake Eater is not just a great game, it's a touchstone of their gaming history. Part of the appeal of Metal Gear Solid Delta, it is its ability to evoke the same feeling and experiences as the original, while it presenting them in a form that feels polished for today's gaming standards. By retaining the core mechanics, Konami is preserving the identity of Snake Eater. Fans want to feel the tension of stalking through the jungle, carefully managing their camouflage and stamina. They want to experience the meticulously designed boss fights and the emotional weight of the narrative. In short, they want Snake Eater, but they want it with a fresh coat of paint, better controls and smoother animations. This is where Delta shines. It gives players what they love about the original, but with a modern enhancements that make it more accessible and visually striking. So, why it's okay that Metal Gear Solid Delta doesn't feel like a full remake? The answer lies in the fact that it's not every classic game needs a complete overhaul. Some games like Snake Eater are so perfectly crafted that their original design holds up even years later. To change too much would be to risk losing the essence of what made them great. Delta respects this, opting to preserve the core experience while making it more palatable for modern audience. By refining rather than reinventing, Metal Gear Solid Delta offers the best of the both worlds. A faithful recreation of beloved classic, enhanced with enough modern touches to feel fresh. For a long time fans, this means getting to experience Snake Eater as they remember it, with the added benefit of the updated visuals and smoother gameplay. For newcomers, it offers the opportunity to play one of the greatest games ever made, in a form that feels polished and accessible. In the end, Metal Gear Solid Delta may not be radical reinvention some fans were hoped for, but it doesn't need to be. Instead, it stands as a loving tribute to a game that has already proven itself as a timeless masterpiece. In this case, a remaster is exactly what Snake Eater deserves, and that's more than okay. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. I see you guys all and have a wonderful day. はい、はい。はい、ちょっとあの、ここでスライドお願いします。はい、あの、ブースの方にもあの飾ってるんですけども、TGSに合わせてポスターを2つ作らせていただきました。はい、えっと、こちら側がですね、あの、スネークがモデルになっています。あの、オリジナルの時にもカロリーメイトさん、あ
、はい、あのまあタイトルとかですねあのこのカロリーメイトの種類のようにレガシースタイルとニュースタイルで、はいえー、少しあの変化するところがありますのであ,あの発売後あの皆さんプレイされている時に見つけていただけたら嬉しく思います。はいでですね、えー、フード、食料ですね、カロリーメイトの食料は、えー、っとですね、武器として装備することができます。これはあのオリジナルからですね。はい、カロリーメイトそこですね。<笑>はい。持ってる。でこうやってあの敵兵をお,おびき寄せたりとかですね、あの腐ったあ食料を敵に与えることで敵のお腹を壊させたりとかして。うまくあのゲームを進むという戦略を取ることができます。はい。ですね。えー、今回このカロリーメイトを装備している時だだけなんですけど、一緒にしてボタンを押すと、あ、あのポスターと同じポーズが取ることができますので。さっきのポーズだ。はい。あのーまあ、他のゲームにありますようにあのフォトモード、はいあのー、ユーザーさんが好きなあカット、アングルで、えー、写真化するフォトモードは実装しますので、はいえー、それを利用してあのポスターと同じ状況とかアングルとか、えー、見つけて、リーダーで撮影して、えー、もらったら、あのー、楽しいんじゃないかなと思ってます楽しいですね。はいはいえっと、ここからあ敵兵が出てきて、えー、ちょっと戦闘になりまして、えーそれえー、ここから先はあの皆さん、プレイして楽しめてください。